It's been a few months since the last time you've seen this Xbox, and it still has a problem. It has a broken DVD drive, and since we're not going to be buying a new DVD drive and buying games, I'm going to show you guys how to put games onto the Xbox's hard drive. As you can see, this Xbox has some problems with its DVD drive. It will accept a disc after I replaced a belt, but actually trying to read a disc, it will not do ever, no matter what type of disc it is, because this Xbox, yeah, it's cooked. So we're just going to put games onto the hard drive instead because we've upgraded that in a previous video. First things first, you need a PC. I used Windows 11 for this, but Windows 10 should be similar enough. Next thing you're going to need is an Ethernet switch or Wi-Fi router. I used an old Wi-Fi router. It's not even connected to Internet. Then you're going to need to connect an Ethernet cable from your PC to the router. You can do this over Wi-Fi. It's just slower. Then you're going to need to take an Ethernet cable from your Xbox. I was really struggling here to plug that thing in because I was doing it with one hand. And then plug the other end of that into your router. This connects the Xbox to the computer so they can talk to each other. This Xbox is running XBMC and it does have some FTP capability. But in my experience, it's pretty unstable. So whenever I need to use FTP, I just boot up Unleash X because the FTP is just way more stable on here. You see those numbers in the corner? Yeah, we're going to need to take note of those somehow. Th these numbers are very important. We're going to need to type them in there. So take a picture, write it down, do something. We're going to need these numbers for the computer. Then once you have a picture, you can open up FileZilla. Now, before you go any further, look at the dashboard on your Xbox to see which drive has the most storage, space-free, then turn to your computer. You'll want to type in that address you saw earlier, as well as the username Xbox and the password Xbox, because those are just the default. Then press Quick Connect. You'll see a whole lot of folders show up here, and that is your Xbox's hard drive. Click into the drive letter that has the most storage and press Create Directory. We'll name this directory games because it's full of games. Press OK and you'll see the new folder. Ignore the other folder called games. It's fine. Open up a file explorer window that contains your totally not downloaded from the internet games and simply select them and drag them into the FileZilla explorer window. Yeah, it's that simple. You'll see a whole lot of action start happening up here. That's basically a log and you can see the direct transfer status down here of exactly what file it's on and an estimation of how long it's going to take. You see this queued files and how there's about 4,000 files. Well, that's because we're transferring multiple game and each game can maybe have a thousand-ish files to it. So yeah, that big number, it doesn't really mean much, but that's just kind of progress. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, where can I get these Xbox games? Now, of course, you could be a good boy and rip them on your friend's Xbox and have them send them to you. Or you could do a little bit of high sea sailing and download them off the internet. Not taking any responsibility if you download sketchy files or go to sketchy sites. But yes, sites like that do exist. And once you have them, all you have to do is just select where the games are on your dashboard for them to show up and they should run from your hard drive programs add source hit browse go to f that's where we put the games select the games folder and press ok and then press ok easy now, there is a problem. If you have a stock hard drive, you're definitely not going to have enough storage for maybe even three games. You'll be lucky if you can get one game on there. So yeah, I recommend upgrading your drive, especially while you can, because it's easiest once you have a working drive in your Xbox. So definitely do that and maybe follow my other video. I didn't really do a great job explaining what I was doing, but I did it anyway. Anyway, Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, um, send it to someone who might use it or might find it interesting. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.